that I had as a person because before meeting Jamie, I was content with living with my mom for the rest of my life. So this is the step I needed to take to be able to be ready for that when that time comes and I don't need her. So with living in a sealer, that does the support that the staff are, are able to give me, uh, it's helpful to be helping me become independent and like just to have somebody to talk to if I need somebody to talk to. Because that's the most important thing sometimes, just being able to talk to somebody. Jamie has supported me so much. Like, if it wasn't for her, I would have had a mental shutdown a long time ago. Like, she got me through a lot of the situations that I've been through and I'm currently going through. And so, like, without that and the support uh, and the, the help from Dr. Blunt to give me my medication, just with such ease, it would it would have been hard if I wasn't involved with Metropolitan. I, it would have been extremely hard and I don't know where I would be without it, without it but I would be happy. Hi guys, it's Katie and the care she provided right off the bat was just like insane, incredible, like nothing I ever experienced before because she was like, we're going to get you on medications right now because we don't want you to wind up in the hospital again. We don't want to watch you wind up in jail or anything like that. And I was like, wow, I could see like the care right away was, was there, you know? So um, she had put me on uh, antidepressants, antipsychotic medications right away. And I got scheduled to see Dr. Dr. Blood right away. And ever since then, that everything has gone skyrocketed in my life. Has, has improved like a 180, like we're talking about right now. I have went back to school. I'm going to school right now. My mental health is like at an all-time high. Mind you, it was all-time low, now it's like an all-time high. He is. I, I really, truly feel like Mace is a testament, or a testimony to what we truly do at Metro. And he, and I know he gives us a lot of credit, but you know, <laughs> his desire want to change his life and to make it for the better. But uh, she's showing me how to, how, to, how, to, how to, what steps I needed to take to improve my life. All I have to do is follow the regimen, you know, follow the steps they provided me, mm -hmm. and I'm going to now, you know. <laughs> a lot of people that have mental health issues, mental health issues in this day and time. I, I've been in the system, so I've been in jail, prison, and a lot of people do not need to be there like me. Like, there's no way I should have been where I was at. But see, my mental health got me to the point where I, I resorted to things to so, so self-medicate myself, you know? And a lot of people, I see the people in there, they were like, if they just got the right care, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be in the situation they're at, you know? Yeah, and if people just receive the right services, you know, drug addiction will go down, you know? Mental health is such a big problem, you know? There's solutions for it, you know? Counseling is like, it's absolutely something that people should be to, so, you know? I know the court process took a really long time because of COVID, right? Um, and so how did you feel when that was all finished and you were granted your long-term order of protection? I was happy. I was happy and I felt like it worked out in my favor. Um, I didn't feel like no one was picking and choosing sides because what I was going through and who I was and the situation, I just felt like um, you all took your time, um, you went through the um, process as you should. Um, you all stayed in contact, you asked questions, you followed up. Um, I felt good and I still feel good to this day. Things are still going going good. You know, I, I don't feel left out. I'm always put in the loop. And to get those phone calls, you know, from somebody so big, so much power to check on me. You know, I, I feel like I'm the only one in the world. That's how it makes me feel. It makes me <laughs> So good, it really, really do. Like, oh my God, they called and checked up on me this morning. So I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful. Yes. Well, I was scared, and I realized if I don't do something, my family gonna be looking for me, and they not gonna be looking for me. 
You know, like I had to think about that. You know, it's just me and my baby. I don't have no parents, I don't have no friends. We got too many family members. And I'm so happy that I had to gain a family through the situation I was going through. Thank you.